Hello children, welcome back to the next session of science class. In the last video, you have seen about light. Isn't it? That what is light, different sources of light, luminous, non-luminous object and properties of light. So, in this video, we will discuss the rest part of the chapter. So, first let's begin how we see an object. We know that only in presence of light we can see an object. If it is dark, in a dark room when you enter, can you see any object? No, it's not possible. Yes or no? Now let us see how that in presence of light we see the object or what is the reason behind this. When the light falls on the object, so what happens, the light rays are reflected back. Reflected back means after striking the object, the light rays returns back in the same medium. Okay. And when those light rays reaches to our eyes, we are able to see that object. Got it? So in this way, in presence of light, when the reflected rays reaches to our eyes, we can see the object. Now, depending upon the movement of the light rays, there are three types of objects or three categories of objects are there. Okay? The first one is transparent object. Second one is translucent object. And third is the opaque object. Okay. Now, transparent object. What do you mean by transparent object? Those objects through which light passes completely, they are known as transparent object. Such as plastic or glass. Okay. Take a glass or a plastic. And just place it in front of a light. You can see that light completely. Yes or no? The light rays completely passes through it. So such objects are known as transparent objects. Clear? Second one is translucent object. Translucent object means those objects through which light passes partially. Now what do you mean by partially? Partially means not complete, whole of the light passes, but some part of the light passes through it. So such objects are known as translucent object. Example, hazed glass. Have you seen the glasses, hazed glass, which we used as window panes? In that what happens? Not complete light passes, but partial light passes through it. Yes or no? And the third is the opaque objects. Now what do you mean by opaque objects? Those objects through which light cannot pass, they are known as opaque objects, such as cardboard. Okay, if you take cardboard in your hand and if you stand in front of a light, can you see that light? Can any light pass through it? No, it's not possible. Yes or no? So such type of objects are known as opaque objects. And because of this opaque objects only, what are formed? Shadows are formed. Hope so you all must have seen your own shadow. Yes or no? If at noon time, if you stand just in, means um, under the sun, what happens? Your shadow falls on the ground or not? So, those substances which does not allow the light to pass through them, such objects are known as opaque objects and opaque objects are responsible for the formation of shadows. Okay? Now, let us see what is a shadow and how shadows are formed. Okay? So, shadow. Shadow, it is a dark region, okay, which is formed behind, means behind means at the back 
of an opaque object. When an opaque object is placed in front of a source of light, what happens as light cannot pass through that object, so at the back of the object a dark space is formed and that dark space that is known as shadow. Okay, now let's see. See, suppose this is a source of light. Okay, and in front of the source of light, a, an opaque object is placed. As we all know that light, it travels in a straight line. Isn't it? Light cannot bend. We know that light always travels in a straight line. Yes? So, in the similar way children, what happens? When the light travels here and when an opaque object comes in between. So, what happens? Light cannot pass through it. Yes? So, as light cannot pass through this, so what happens? A dark space of the same size is formed here and which is known as shadow. Got it everyone? How shadows are formed? Clear? So, when an opaque object is placed in front of a source of light, as light cannot pass through it, so what happens? A dark space is formed at the back of that opaque object, which is known as shadow. Now, there are some characteristics of shadow. First thing, light is very necessary for formation of a shadow. Without light, you cannot form a shadow or shadow cannot be formed in darker area. Okay, without light shadow cannot be made or formed. Second thing, shadow does not depend on the color of an object because shadows are always black or gray in color. Okay, then third point is shadow only gives the shape of the object. Other details you cannot get it. Suppose you place your palm in front of a source of light. So what happens? The shadow of your hand only appears. Isn't it? Can you see any other details? The lines which are made in your palm. Can you see those lines? No. So shadow does not give any other de details apart from the shape. Only it shows the shape of that object. Okay. And depending upon the source of light, the two types of shadows are formed. Now, when the source of light is small, okay. So what happens? Only a small darker shadow is formed. And this dark shadow is known as Abra. Got it? But when the source of light is big, a centrally placed small darker area and at the surrounding a light darker area is formed which is known as pinabra. That means when the source of light is small, only a dark shadow which is known as umbra is formed. But when the source of light is big, a centrally placed Darker area along with it a light shade area is formed which is known as penumbra. Got it? Hope so. This part is clear to all of you. After viewing this video just go through the chapter. Follow children? Okay. So till then bye bye and thank you for watching.